Sure. Chapter 6. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and the mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me, but why? He did more than cut his throat. Actually, he didn't even cut his throat. Did he? He stabbed him. Pulled him back. Stabbed him like seven times. Smashed his head into the table. And then chopped him in the head. Uh, I don't remember him getting a uh, throat cut at all. Also, the heck happened? I heard, um... There's oh, so crap. much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. Uh. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? Dagger type? Nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God. I have to telegraph the sheriff. No. This man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. There's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, Where am I, I now? I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was How did I get here? people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. He's done talking. I just realized. Even though I set the sound effect properly today, it did not go off. Or the proper one did not go off. Let me affix that. There. Been fixed. Done. Alright. All better. <sighs> that is a weird start, right? I don't... I don't recognize... I don't remember coming into it... This area. Ring ding ding ding! Anyone here? Let me, let me ding this bell. Ding. Ring my bell, ring my bell. Take this. Hello. Nothing. Everyone just leaves their stuff here, huh? Ghost sound? Do I have my pistol still? I hear flies. We'll take that. Oh, there's another one. Heck yeah! That's nice. That's not. Isn't that a famous painting? Yeah, with the skeleton behind him. Mm -hmm. Hey, hello. 106, huh? Oh, that's where I'm at. Hello. I work here now. Don't worry, I'm just uh doing uh, some routine hotel maintenance things. Him, Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions. Currently it's staying at Blackstone Inn. Room number blah 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 blah. It's ripped off. Okay. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Biscuits are watery. Er, biscuits are watching you. 
biscuits. If H is perfectly fine to be something of your mind, just something fix it. Just never fix it. Touch it. Ox it. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. How do you know that? Hello? Knock, knock. Oh, a seven. What the fuck? That was even more scary. Because my freaking keyboard kept me running forward and then uh because i was just gonna stop and i was gonna look at this thing here because i thought I, there was a shiny right in here i was gonna stop and turn around but it kept running and then that sound came in made me think that the game was controlling me and that thing came flying into my face Did you guys hear that someone's whispering Where is the link for your shop? I can't remember. Um, down below the stream, there's a uh, merch link and a quick uh, link of uh, all the available items. It's a 207, right? Well, that thing just came flying out at me and I kind of don't like that. Oh. Can pick this one. Am I going to regret doing that? Am I going to regret this? Is that pirate lump a lump of pirate from my father's mine some call it fool's gold but it has brought considerable wealth to the hide whitehead families you guys hear that is there a ghost following me around use you These are all locked. Ugh. My mouth is getting dry. Don't mean anything. Is someone walking around this hotel? Or is it just my brain going crazy? That's where 207 would be. We have to go this way. Great. Was he there the whole time? And I just saw him? What's he saying? Something stitious or something. I'm so scared I'm gonna walk into a corner like that and something's gonna be right behind me. Safety room. Ooh. Okay. 
Things locked. Yes, baby. Eat those knives. Is that from the knives or is that from something else? Also, probably, unfortunately, gonna have to go down there at some point. <laughs> My safe room isn't safe. Holy crap. What is left here by one of the guests? Or was it left here by one of the guests? Another passage from the Bible. Luke 8, 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be, be known. I'm a rod. That's cool. Cross is not protecting me. Well, silver lining is ghost shook the whole room and just opened up stuff, so. Said 207. I have to go up still, man. Mm. Stop, ghosts, right? I need to chill out. Stop talking. Hey, friend. Virgin Mary, protect me. Come with me. Nicely. You back up. Sit you down nicely. You you hang out here. You guard the door. Got this. Not scared. That virgin. Stop it, ghosts! Virgin Mary, protect me. He's guarding the door. Was doing. Oh. You grab that. All right. Good job, Mary. You got this. Trust you. Teamwork this up. All right. Put you down real quick. Got this. NBD. Just heard him walk. I hate that picture. Also, the ghosts haven't talked in a while, so it's freaking me out. Stop it, painting. I love you. All right, Mary. Time to use your awesome powers. Keep the ghosts away. God, who is away. this? I can't look away. What is he doing here? That was weird. Emma was freaking out. Right, you wait right here. There's the ghosts. Those are locked. All right. All right you come with me. Do. All right. Two seven. right there I want to go that way mm. why isn't there numbers on the doors that's oh there is Nice. Fuck off, ghosts. Here, he's protecting me. You 
10. What you got in here for me? All right, you, you sit in the chair. You got this. We're gonna shut these doors. We're in this together. We don't want anyone sneaking in on us. You just protect this room. You know, this, this is all teamwork here. I will do all the loots. I will do all the grunt work. You just keep the bad things at bay. Trust in you. Believe that you will keep me safe. So, please don't let me down. All right, we'll let that one slide because technically you fulfilled your end of the bargain and kept them out. However, let's uh, step it up a notch and keep the spookies away. I can't recall ever doing such a thing. Why would I disturb the guests? I was well aware that if I did something like that, I would get locked up in the dark for days on end. All right. Dear Mr. Hyde, my wife and I hope that the week we were to spend at your establishment would have been pleasant and soothing experience as it was advertised in your brochures. Indeed, the forest provides a calming ambiance that long walks in crisp mountain air are surely beneficial for the health. Unfortunately, this is the pr all the praise I can offer and I'm only writing it out of courtesy. Every single night, some deranged brat would haunt the hallways of the inn, running wildly, laughing hysterically, and repeatedly knocking on our door. I tried to scold him multiple times, but he would always manage to run from me or hide somewhere. It was evident then he knew every nook and cranny of the place. The realization came only on the day of our departure when I saw him entering your office. That little bugger wasn't the child of your guest. Left unsupervised to visit other visitors, he was your son. If you can't keep your own child in check and you allow him to ruin your guest's long-awaited vacation, you're surely not fit... You're surely not fit to run it in. Rest assured that I will relate this outrageous story to all my acquaintances. I'm quite a well-known figure in Providence. And then my wife and I will give you an in of wild birth in the future. Assable. Anything? <laughs> Why does the game do this? Making spooky loud music with nothing around? Yeah. It's trying to throw you off. That's what, um... Fatal Frame games do. It uses the sound just to really fuck with you. Even if nothing's happening. It's very well done. That was a game I couldn't beat. And I ended up not wanting to play very long. Because it scared the crap olies out of me. Yeah, we're keeping those doors locked. Those windows. Open. Open! Let's know if you contain any treasures. Alright, Mary. We got this. One room down. You ready? Let's go on an adventure. Think we can squeeze this way? We can squeeze this way. Oh. Are you protect me? No, same deal. I pick up all this good stuff. Did you hear that creepy bird? Creepy bird. There's a there's a ghost child running around the halls. Did you you, you listen to that letter I read or letter I read you right? Uh, so there's probably some demon child running around. So uh, you good with demon children? Can you handle them? I think you can handle them. You sound like some uh, you can handle well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down right here. Nope, I lied. That door's locked. So, um... You ready? You ready to go confront some demon children? I'm gonna put you down right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw you. Here, just... There you go. Damn, there's a chain! <laughs> Hi, bitch! I kind of expected that. So sharp. Whoa! Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. That wasn't there before. Hey, Mary. Uh, you were looking that direction. Can you tell me what just happened? Uh, or do you have a concussion for me dropping you on your head? Did you see that? I suppose you didn't, because, uh, you were looking behind me. But, uh, here, check it out. 
You see that? You see that behind me? That thing just opened. Kind of scary, right? Here, we'll put you down. Okay, that's still locked. Hey, you want to take bets on if there's a demon child in here? Here, let's... Eh. Open that door straight up. All right, demon child! I come armed! Mother Mary is on my side. No. Nope. Here. You play lookout. In here. That's worthless. Alright, we need to we need to shut these. Can't play very good lookout. Sure, our vision's getting blocked. I mean. You got this. No. Fucking who's blocking the door? Mary. You gotta tell me when chairs and stuff move. Come on, what are you doing? We're supposed to be in this together. You know, we went over the terms earlier. I, I know I dropped you on your head. I know, I, I apologize. I I didn't do it on purpose. I promise, like... You know what? I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to you. Like, you look like you could... You're, you're getting a little dusty. You can, you can wipe you down with a nice chamois. Just some polishing fluid. That sound good? I think that would be a great thing to do. What else? You know, you like uh, you like some beads? You want some rosary beads? No, hold on, I need to grab this. Um, okay, so there's no beads over here. There's a cup. But uh, if you want some rosary beads, we can we can get you some of those. I'm sure we can find some. Just uh, you know what? I think I feel I feel like I'm getting a little too far away from you. Get her hard into here. So let's uh, bring you over here. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, you want the top shelf? Here, you can have the top shelf. Oh, 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 wait, 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 no. You Resituate yourself. You know, you moving that close or that slowly doesn't help my fears, right? Just, just. Stay away, ghost. I'm talking to Mary. Just put you up here. Gently. Hey. There you go. You're good. Eh. No chair. Don't make that squeak noise, Mary. That's not fun. No, we're not playing these horror games. We're not playing. <laughs> Mary! Demon lady! Mary! Mary, I need you! What was that? Where did it try to drag me? Mary! To hell, maybe? Mary! Christ. Mary! Oh my God. Guys, we lost Mary. We lost our only protective force. Now there's a hairy wolf man. Shit. That was no kid, Mr. Absol, whatever his name is. Oh, man! Whoo! You think it was a little girl? Oh, well, I think you're right. <laughs> Uh, I lost my Mary. I lost my Mary. Uh, which way do I go? I'll take that. I thought I said it was... I thought... Hell yeah. Alright, Mary. Ew, I hate that painting. It's so gross. Um. Mary... Uh, I got something else you should recognize, so we'll keep the demons at bay, right? I'm not putting this down until they stop talking. Uh-uh-uh! Stop, keyboard. <laughs> Things all heckin' locked. Alright. I don't like that it's black. It's kind of freaking me out. Like it's been charged. It's, it's a desecrated cross. 
This feels like bait. This feels like bait. It's not bait! Aha! Uh -huh. Got the power of God and anime on my side. Alright, you wait right here. I looked at this, right? Yes, I did. All right. Oh, lovely save icon. I like it. I don't. Mary. Mary, you're back! Oh, I thought we left you. You're back. Oh, I feel so much better. Oh, you and me. Back on this. Here, hold up. We're, we're back on the team. We got some... I, I didn't leave you, I promise. I got I got dragged down to hell. Did you see that crazy lady? I know you're I know you were kinda tilted up and all like like that. But uh she grabbed me, I promise. I I wasn't going on my own volition. Don't you worry, I'm I'm not leaving you behind. We got this. We, we make a great team. Let me let me just check this. No, those are garbage. Hold on. Is the door? We already check that. You got this? Let's go. Me and you, girl. What time is it? I have 15 only. I only have 15 more minutes to play this crappy game tonight. I am. No one's home! Mary, don't answer it. Don't answer it, alright? Got your word? I don't want to open that. Feels like a bad thing. Can we- Hey, Mary, you think we can both fit in there? I'm, I wouldn't leave you hanging, don't you- don't you worry. I know we had that one- That one flub up where, uh, you didn't warn me of creepy lady. I did leave you behind, though, so you know what? You know what? I, you know, I won't fault you for it. But, um, how are we gonna open this thing? Because apparently holding you takes both my hands. Oh. I don't like that. Why was it teaching me to do that? It was teaching me to knock that over. Mary! I don't like this. Something's setting us up for failure, girl. Why did it ask me to do that? It's teaching me that I could probably run and knock things over. Hey Mary, where do I go? I just knocked that thing over. I heard foot stomps. Hold on, I gotta try to open this door again. Wait, wait! Oh, 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 you almost fell. I got you, I got you. You got it, don't worry. Nope. Be gone! No. You don't want me to try to walk up that? No. <gasps> did. Mary, how do I get up here? I'm having a hard time getting up there with, uh... While holding on to you. Hold on. <laughs> wait! Alright, hold on. You, you wait there for a second. Ha! Ha! Here, I'm gonna set you down. Also, there's lots of blood there. That's nice. Here, let's not drop you in the blood. I got you, don't worry. I'm not forgetting about you. Ew. 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 Something's gonna pop out there. Hey, what you keep an eye this? out. Looks like a slaughter. Good God. 
Something is wrong here. Mary. I'd better grab that tool and get out of here. Yeah. We're trying, but Mary Mary! Can't take the Bible with you. Can't hold on to both of you. Can you can you Alright, here. Oh look, a thing over there. Oh look, don't look over there. There's there's a, there's a naked lady. Alright, you're gonna have to hang out there for a minute. Opal, the first magazine is by Patience. Poems, stories, interviews, articles. Okay, like that. She even unlocked Avid Reader. Wait. Please, nothing pop out of me. Mary! Alright, do you not like that one? You want another area? Right here? How's that? Is that better? I hope that's better, because... This is gonna... Ugh. Do we need to see our Blessed Marys or whatever it is? Cut through all sorts of metal obstacles. To cut through the chain them. in the janitor's room. We let's cut some through some bad guys. No, you didn't hear that, Mary. Don't worry. Oh, there's that painting again. I, that's one of my most hated paintings of all time. It's called like a cyclop or has something to do with um, the man eaters, like cyclopses and stuff. But it's not a cyclops. King Mary, that scared me. Also, is that an otter? An otter. I love otters. The janitor's room? This one, right? Alright, Mary. We've come this far. But I gotta cut this. Why is that gotta be so stinking loud? Alright. Steal his stuff, Mary. I'm, no, we're not. We won't steal. We don't steal. We will borrow and uh, never return. No, just worry about it. Oh, I'll take that. He's not using it. Yeah, it's even a lock full tank. Does that mean I can't carry anymore, or is that just an achievement? Oh, look, there's another one of you. You, you got a sister. Here. Freaking rug. There you go. Yeah. I'm not playing favorites, Mary. Don't worry. She came with a candle, so you know what? Since we're leaving her behind to guard this area, it'd be nice for her to have her own little bit of light. You know, just gotta spread the love around. But you know what? You and me. You and me. We got this. Here, you you want you want to sit in a nice chair? Nice pat. Well, it didn't sound very padded, but also, I can't shut this door anymore, and I don't like that. Kind of freaks me out, actually. I already opened these? I don't think I did. No, they're open. Move, rug. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now what? for eternity. Maybe and he was guests, maybe he was happy. From what I can see are sure to cause trouble. Okay. Alright. You come with me. Not the chair. You, you, I know, I know it was comfy, but. We, I can't carry you and the chair. It's just, just how it goes. Oh, hi. You look like you've had better days. Hold on a minute. I wonder if there's an achievement to light certain number of uh, handles. I have a million of these matches, so. Maybe I'll start lighting stuff. Except they made the ghost sound louder, and I don't like that. hearing things. There you go. There you go. Look. Make it a little more homely here. Don't worry about a thing, Mary. You and me? Yeah, the... Got this. Who's this? I'm not opening that. Mary! Protect me. He was... He was... He was taking a nap. Did you, did you see him? Yeah, I know. That guy right there. Kind of messed up, right? He was just laying there, all dead and like, and then he decided to wake up for two seconds and then said, uh, nope, I'm still dead. So I understand. 
Oh, that's the keys. I'm reading, ghost. I'm reading. That's why I clicked on that right away, because I figured something was going to happen. You can't hurt me when I'm reading. At least I hope not. Mr. Jacobs keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman or hu inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacobs says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never came back? Came back. Is that what happened to the, the hiker? My god, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking himself, drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if those ghosts don't leave me alone. I understand. What's behind me? Mary, I don't want to look behind me, so... How about you look behind me? What do you see? Anything? Anything? Cool. Thanks. You're awesome. Alright, now I need to open this. Don't worry. I'm not leaving you. But these things don't stay open very well, so we gotta do this quickly. Yeah! You don't mind the rain, do you? That's the way we came from, right? This looks safe. You think we can hop up this? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna put you down. Aha, I can hop up it. Here, come here. I'm not leaving you. You and me. Oh, dude. Mary. Apparently my guy sucks at multitasking. Apparently, I can't do multi- I can't carry you and jump at the same time. So, um... You know, this looks great. Hopefully you don't slide off the roof. So I'm gonna put you down nicely. Okay. Oh, I can't open those. Alright, that's good. I can't move those. Alright, you lead the way. Should we open this door? What do you think, Mary? All right, let's 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 put you down again. Those require a key. We can't go in there, Mary. Something's gonna pop out and scare us any time. That's gonna come flying at us. Nope. Mary, we're on a roll, girl. Oh, I meant to light that. I forgot that would put you down. What's gonna scare us right there? That look. You see that? Ah! I was just gonna say that area's bait, but I thought it would have been jump at the window. But it was verse bait. Oh, Mary, I'm sorry I chucked you. <laughs> I chucked you out of fear. I'm sorry, that was a rude thing to do. I didn't mean to. But I was gonna say that's bait. And, uh, it was. Just bait, not the expect time I kind of was expecting. Also, that got jacked up. Being a... Can... Alright, Mary. Can we be done with this yet? Is that wing A? It's wing A. Let's go. Need some WD-40 up in this joint. Can we be done with this one yet? Hey, Mary, do you hear that? Creepy noises. This is super padlocked. That tells me we shouldn't open it. So what do you think we should do? Open it? Alright. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue that but the bastard and lock him up in one of my, the rooms. My god, watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. Combination of the padlock is anger. Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. Anger, huh? What does that say? Do not open. Alright, Mary. We're not opening it. We're listening to the janitor man. You know what? Let's brighten this place up a little bit. Just hint. Ah, oh, how lovely. Also, let's knock this down. Yeah. Or vandals. 
Look, now the ghost thinks we're one of them. It's gonna work out great, Mary. They think we're one of them now, because they throw bookshelves, we push bookshelves. They're gonna leave us alone. Here. I'm sorry, I can't do this with you in my hand, so you're gonna have to hold on. But don't you worry. We're gonna type in some anger. I like that there's a padlock there. The key, or the code right there. Don't jump anything. It's locked and padlocked, huh? All right, Mary. What did I release? Okay, I need a pause. Oh, what did I release? <sighs> Adult child? Yeah, that, that screamy ghost character, or ghost, does not seem like a kid. Night, Sarah. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate you being here. Oh, we're playing D&D &D and our characters are all going to be scary villains out of movies we are playing this close. Oh, nice. Uh, who's the villain that you play? guy was angry. Look at the stuff he did here. I don't know why. I don't think I'm actually caring about any of that. Alright, Mary. This is going to be difficult to do. I gotta crawl through these stupid small spaces that this game keeps making us do. And stuff keeps jumping out at us every time. So hopefully nothing is going to do it. Protect me, right? Protect each other. Look. More bait. Aha! Bait all over the place, Mary. There's lots of flies in there, so someone's probably dead. Hey, I don't want to go over there alone, so you mind, you know, holding my hand? Come with me? Thank you. You're awesome. You're a trooper. What is that, Mary? What's gonna scare us over here, Mary? Oh, this is a climb thing, isn't it? Right there. Alright, Mary. You know how this works. Apparently I can't jump. I'm holding on to you, so... No! Mary! Wait a minute! There you go. Ha! Hey, Mary. Um, there's a get dead guy in there. I would throw you in first, but I think we need to go together. It's only what pals do. They handle this together. That's, those are some shears. And that guy's wearing a hat. Hey, there's a note, Mary. Think we can grab that without disturbing the dead guy? John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I've managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my May, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those not dropping that bomb. Blank bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods, though, and instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am fine, making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means. Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wants our home to come to fruition so the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. Stop, ghosts, I'm reading. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you in the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James. Oh, this is Booth. So, the Union uniform was just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. There's all sorts of jump scares going to happen here, I'm calling it. Hey, buddy. Mary. Not to sit you down. Don't. Don't. 
There, you got that. That's locked. These are all locked. Hate it. Hate it. Mary, I'm scared. Something's gonna come behind this me when I look at this guy. This disturbed janitor was writing about. I guess not. Looks like he died a long time ago. Along with the janitor? Okay, that was the save point, by the way. Don't come alive, you piece of shit. Hey, look! Uh, Jesus! Mary! It's your son! Let's have a happy little reunion here. You both protect me, please. Here, I'll light yours too. Don't you worry. Happy little reunion here. That's nothing. Just, I'm just checking. Just checking. Oop, see? That's what we check for. Mary, you and I have come a long way, so you know what? Let's tackle this thing together. What do you say? Think we can do this? It's gonna get awful quiet in here. There's one of them comfy chairs that you like so much. So, uh... Hey, look! Those weird roots are back. How about you come over here with me? Oh, I thought there was gonna be something there. I don't like those roots. Those roots ended in bad stuff last time. Mary! Even though I have you here, I'm freaking out. What is with that painting? Mary. Mary. Can I, can I be honest with you? Be honest with you? I, I know I can be honest with you. You're, you're virgin when I'm married. I'm scared. I'm scared. I am. I'm very scared. Um. I think something's gonna come out and scare me. Oh, look. I missed a thing. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. You're not a sharp tool. You're not a sharp tool, Mary. I'm sorry. Mary. Did you see a sharp tool in any of our endeavors? Why can't I pick you up again, Mary? Mary! I can't pick you up! Betrayed me. Are you calling me a chicken? Do you not want to go with me anymore? She doesn't want to go with me anymore. Oh. Sharp tool and the dead guy. That's right. Mary! Mary, I need you. Uh, Mary. Mary. Mary, can I borrow your son? Hey, Jesus. Um. So... Your mom thinks I'm a I'm a I'm a gigantic wimp, which to be fair I am. But I Jesus! Get up and walk away. I didn't mean to drop you. Hey, buddy. How do I know that was gonna happen? Go. Help! Jesus, Help! look! It's a dead I guy. Leave you of your life, you bastard. You Jesus! Jesus, you need you need to cast him to hell. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Jesus, there's a bomb there. We gotta move you, buddy! No! Oh, I, I knocked you out of the way, don't worry! It's a- it's a grenade! It's a grenade, here! Take this- yeah, yeah, that's gonna feel good. Kick him! Kick him! Jesus! No, I forgot you! Jesus, are you okay? Jesus! <coughs> my guy! How are you? Ah, oh, he lives! Jesus, my dude, I'm- dude, I tried to knock you out of the way, but- I couldn't get over there. You'll forgive me, right? That, oh, dude. You're awesome. Do, you you stuck in there with me? Here, hang out with your mom for a second. Did you hear that? Um, ghosts took those out of my pocket for me, apparently. Oh, look! Your mom, your mom forgave me. Your mom is huge compared to you, by the way, buddy. Hold on. Mary, I'm sorry. Your your son gave me the strength to to continue forward, but I feel like this is his domain. Like, hey, he 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 was meant to get me beyond this part, 
So he's gonna protect this whole area. You got this, buddy. Alright, Mary, you forgive me, right? We good? We got this. We got this. Don't you worry. He's giving me the strength and the courage to scream at things. What is gonna happen? We got save point. Can we be freaking done? Oh, nice. <laughs> it's okay, Mary. I wasn't that scared. I was, I was just, I was just doing that for your benefit. So if you were scared, you wouldn't feel so bad. But you know what? You're a boss. Oh my God! This area is so much going on. I want it to be done. Mary, do you think uh, we don't need to search all the rooms anymore? Because uh, I want to be done. I just want to get out of here. What do you? How do you feel? Oh, lock picks. I'm good at this. Don't worry. Oops. Oops. What? Stop, ghosts. Ready? You ready for more, Mary? Hey, look! A light! You don't need any more. Here. Here's a very comfy... Sound like brick tables, but... You know what? What we have. Is that me? Me. Trying to shut these. They give me peace of mind, even though it probably won't help at all. Especially if they come from that side. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. Hey, buddy. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow or we'll end up with nothing. So this was George's office. Did they Sorry, Mary. It's my father and me. Um... I, I didn't think this was gonna be his office right away, but uh, apparently it is. So here, you you sit there. Oh, sorry, I I didn't put you down nicely. Oh, that was smooth, Mary. You got some moves. Something's gonna scare us, isn't it, Mary? Are you ready? Don't you get worried. I'll do the screaming. How about that? Oh, what's this? Keys. 107 and 208. All I need to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Really? That's it? I'm pretty sure there's more than, you know, just that. This game is not that simple. And it likes trying to scare me. Okay, Mary. 107 and 208, you ready? I'm not. I don't want to go in this room. I have a feeling something scary is going to happen in there. Here, hold on. There's a thing here. Got it. Close your eyes, Mary! Take a rest. Shh. Don't slam so hard. The ghosts will hear. Someone was growling. Oh, look, another one of you. What's well, gonna scare me after I read this? Mr. Hyde, I've always, I have already written to you multiple times, but I've never received replies, so I'm asking again. Do you really not remember my brother Henry, who stayed at your inn two months ago? He's a 31-year-old, tall, slim, and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. 
As a young artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He always loved the serene atmosphere of this region and said that these mountains, of course, struck the right chord in his soul. As I've mentioned in my previous letters, my brother never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have taken his own life. It was full of suffering, but I hope this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some detail that helped solve the mystery of Henry's disappearance. Anthony Wilcom. Judging by the description, Henry seems like a typical melancholic, but I wouldn't jump to consider. Conclusions say that he too have committed suicide. Many people have gone missing in these parts, and certainly not all of them were overly sensitive. Is that the... Hiker? I don't like the big window. That's just begging for a jump scare. Also, the ghost sounds are getting deeper. So it seems like if one of the cabinets is locked, they're all locked. I want to get that feeling that's going to get scary. Don't look at the window. Newspaper clipping. Murder. Wednesday, September 13th, 1854, Blackstone, New Hampshire. Monday, September 11th, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded, passed away upon revival at, er, arrival at the end of the war, war of 500. Anything behind me. Mary, where'd you go? There you are. Hey. Dead, dead. Why do I gotta check these things? This, oh, I hate horror games. I always gotta check this shit. Okay, thank goodness. Alright. Say we get out of here. So we're gonna get scared, though. Especially since I shut these doors. The worst part about doing safety checks is... Shut. Mary! I wasn't doing that. The game did it. Hi. Hello. Mary, I had to leave you. Ah! ah! Piece of shit. Oh shit. Grab that, man! Grab that! Grab that! Ah. Fuck! It wouldn't, wasn't working. Hey! Look where I am. Half dead. Can I leave? Mary. Mary. I'm sorry. I, I didn't have time to pick you up. Can't close that. Knew I should have grabbed her. Although, I, in reality, I would have panicked thrown her. <laughs> you didn't hear that, Mary. It's not true. I would have protected you with my life if I could have. But the game made me throw you. Not by choice. Maybe we'll find another Mary. Ooh. Ooh. That was scary. Just want to stop again. Got to sleep for school? <laughs> hey, man. Do what you got to do. I appreciate the six biddies, my dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very, very much. I hope you have a good day at school tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying the, the gameplay here. It's uh, freaking me out. I can't wait to get this to be done so I can go to bed. But the downside is I'm going to be going to bed right after playing a scary game. <laughs> but thank you so much for the bits, my dude. You have a good night. Sleep well. I already checked those, right? What's gonna happen over there? Stop, ghosts. Oh. Oh. <sighs> ghosts with the five more bitties. You want some bitties? Mamas! Just having to save mamas. Yeah, he's just laying here. Just saving mamas' biddies here. 
is. I don't know where she's at. She's off doing things. Oof. Oof. Can I loot that? That area is bait. Haha. -ha. Psychiatrist. Here we go. Appointment with Mr. Whitehead concerning the boy. Soon before the accident of, at the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strange. George was irritable because of the stagnation of their in, in their business, and for some reason he seemed to blame everything on my father or me. I might have been an insufferable brat, but I can't deny that. He kept calling me a lunatic and saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he had brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me? Or maybe it was about some other boy? Like a business card. Trying to prove that I'm crazy. Mary, I don't like that I'm alone. The game made me drop you. It was not by choice. Honest. Now what? No, 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 no. Yeah, you fall through the world. Can I be done? Can I be done? I want to be done. I don't have a Mary. Mary. No, thank you. No, thank you. Mary. Mary. All the ghosts are showing up now that I don't have you. I don't like it. Mary. Mary, I need you. Mary. Mary. It's not a book. I'm just gonna throw a book at him. Give me something to throw at him. Hello? At first I thought it was someone swinging on a rope, but... I, mu I much prefer... <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah! It stopped. Scared the ghost away by throwing a book. Mental note, paranormal seekers. Ghosts don't like when you throw books. Which is strange, because a lot of times ghosts throw the books. They don't want to walk by it. But you run by it. I want to be done, man. How long is this? Yesterday I made a complaint at the reception desk about Mr. Hyde's son who had been making a lot of noise under our windows last night. The child, left without any supervision, was arguing about something with a friend whom I could not see as he was hiding somewhere. Then he tried to lever the frame of one of the windows on the first floor as if we were trying to break into the room. This morning I saw the child with a black eye and bruised lip. I regret ever opening my mouth. My husband had told me not to intervene as he said that it was not our business how others raised their children. But maybe you, Mr. Whitehead, will have the courage to reason with Mr. Hyde. I'm afraid he might kill his own son. Is my dad Hyde? Is that it? When were those things happening? I can't recall any of it. I can barely remember the sting of my father's belt on my back. Yep. I felt that often enough. I might have even gone. Got hit in the head with a metal buckle a few times. But this, I don't know what to make of it. Scary? Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. The rocking chair. That was very well played, developers. Just heads up. <laughs> you stopped the rocking chair, and then as soon as I read that, you brought it back and added humming. I don't like it. Don't get too scared. Close your door when you sleep tonight. Oh, I always sleep with the door closed, but now I'm going to be snuggling with the doggos who's ready for a jump scare. What if I just walk backwards? The fucking chair is gone. That's even better well played. I 
beat this game. I saw a shadow. Oh, I saw a shadow. I just fucked up, I think. I don't know what I did. But I panic ran. I panic ran. Mary, you're back. Oh, a buddy of mine is playing a game and it popped up telling me. Now I'm lost. It's great. And uh, I thought it was an achievement for picking up Mary. Guys, I got lost. I panic ran and got lost. I don't even know what I'm trying to do anymore. Panicked. Reception. I don't know what it was that was trying to scare me, but I missed it, obviously. I don't know what it was. Thank God, I missed it. Here, you stay here. Fuck, it's not over. I have to, uh, I have to find out where the detective stayed. <sighs> All right, Mary. We might be safe here because they just did a jump scare again, so. Oh, oh, no, I was, there's a shiny. The detective was staying in room 203. Oh, damn it. It's upstairs. It looked like he never checked out. 202? There should be a oh, Jesus. The key for room 203 is missing. Of course it is. Maybe. Maybe I can get there from room 202. I must find out how much Gilman knew. I want this chapter to be over, man. That doesn't look good. Locked. Oh. Nice if it wasn't locked. Get up there. Oh, look at Mary's. Kinds of them. Here, you guys can have a candle. Appreciate you guys for all the work you do. Hey, achievement, moss. <laughs> what is that locked? That's weird. Oh, what? That just got opened. I don't like this. Oh, this is that other side. Did you guys see that? There was a ghost there. I can't jump, Mary. Sorry. There was a ghost there, guys. She landed on her feet, too. Okay, it's getting quiet. There's a save point. Something bad is gonna happen. Mary, I can't have you. Shit. Why didn't that open? Oh, because I can get into 202. How do 
we get around? Alright, let's go wait for them to go that way. Go back, and then we'll go. Hear that breathing? Boy with the matches. I can't close it. I don't know if this is a bug. Like, is there two of them? Or is he bugged out? I just no, it's not. There's not gonna be any more of them, is there? I'm guessing there is going to be. Stay out for a little bit because it's making me panic. Fuck. Is that me? Gilman! Open the door! Jesus. We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Got the that. pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really. You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. Oh. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! Please, you want to prove can we be done with this? For his vanishing, you're just desperately I thought I was doing well getting through these chapters, and this one's taken forever. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. Do you hear me? I hope the detective left something here. Not like that. As soon as I find out what he's reading, something's gonna be behind me and be like, you, you found what you can't have found. Oh, nice little cross. They're all locked. That's probably the door I'm gonna go through to run. Like that. Hey, wait, ghosts. What is this? The disappearances started right after the accident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighborhood isn't very safe with all the forest, mountains, swamps, caves, and whatnot, but I don't believe that it's all a coincidence. I also find it hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident, even though Jacob's version was confirmed. 
by the investigating officers. One of the locals told me that right before the explosion, Hyde had brought several barrels of gunpowder to his lawn. I'm going to the mine to check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. Sheriff might have overlooked something, or he might have been bribed. Maybe that will shed some light on the disappearances. During his investigation of the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts ever since the explosion of the mine. He began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for clues that might confirm suspicions. Also, why would you date slash marry anyone named Hyde? The detective went to the mine that day. Sounds like just asking for a bad Nobody date. knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I no, I want to be accident, done. But gunpowder barrels, missing people. What's happened here? My father was a cruel man. I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? Well, he beat the shit out of you, so I wouldn't put it so far past him. Great. That's just great. How do I get out of here, then? Get out of there. Something's gonna jump at me. Oh, here we go. Or not. Now something might jump at me. That's a lot of blood. No, it's not. It looks like blood. Very red in that light. We'll shut the door. those ghost people still around that's nice this can't be real where do I go what what Must have lost my mind. Yep. You can't cut those down. Can't cut those down. Hello. Big monster Is it, friend. Is it only in my head. Really don't like it. Really don't like it. Beware headphone users, a big scream might be coming in. I think I'm going mad. Me too, and there's a save point, and I hate it. Uh-oh. What's gonna scare me? What's gonna grab me? You didn't need to push it that freaking much, man! See, you didn't need to push it that much. Hey, buddy. How are you? We got the butcher up in here. Fuck you. Go, 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 go. Go. I don't know where the mine is. Hi, bitch. Bye, bitch. Fuck off. Run. Oh, fuck! Multiple of them. Oh, shit! Okay. Oh! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Go, 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 go,
I thought I was supposed to run into that. Uh, I didn't know it was going to be a kill thing. I thought it was going to give me a quick time event to like um, jump into like jump into it. And then it was going to take me down a mine shaft or something. But nope, it gave me a quick death. That's what it gave me. All right, hopefully it's starting right when I was pushing the thing. Nope. Right at the gate. Okay. Oh, nice. Right here. I have to run. Whoa. Oh, shit. You had just enough time. Hey! A new follower. Welcome, follower. Thanks for following. I will greet you. Specifically, once I, uh... You know, ah! Don't die. Or something. I had enough time to put away my lantern. That's amazing. Run! Do I have, like, an army of... Zombies? Dudes behind me? Whoa, whoa. No. Jump! Okay. Ah! Hi, buddy. Hi. Get up, get up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Nope. He was, uh, he was gloating. Your hubris. Your hubris betrays you, sir. Go, 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 I don't care. Jump in the hole. Be over, be over, be over. Chapter 7, that was a weird, uh, little end there. Chapter 7, however impossible it may sound, Nicholas's journal helped me to crack the Soviet ciphers, but my joy turned out to be short-lived. In an unexpected turn of events, I had to track down a spy and try to find any hidden bugs along the way. This is how I reached the ruins of an old inn where I stumbled across another collection of Hyatt's sterling mem memoirs. Oh, that, that was the mine I was in. George Morales! Five, two, three. Please tell me if I mispronounce your name. Thank you so much for the follow. I'll get them doggos some cookies in your honor, my good friend. Welcome to the pauper pile. Say, thank you for the follow. Delicious, delicious. Mama's. One cookie. I don't know where the other one is, uh, but we have a we have a treat pile going for her right here. So, oh, oh, I heard stomping. Hippo. You want cookies? Maybe not. All right, but they are saved. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate you. Unfortunately, you did drop in um, right when I'm ending stream here. Uh, we were just trying to get to the end of that chapter um, because I, I did not want to jump in mid chapter uh, tomorrow. Oh man, there was a. Uh... There was some definitely good scares on, uh, on this one. Oh, I guess we'll... Oh. Let's let it load in, because I don't know if it'll What's see us loading on? in. Where am I? How? All tomorrow. of a sudden... Did, did, did someone knock me out when I was at the ruins? But why would they drag me here? I was right. There's some sort of time How am I supposed to go home? Uh -huh. Wild. Okay. Ooh, yes, I want to quit the game. Oh, man. Oh, man. There were some... There were some definite scares, guys. Holy crap. Um, what was that? Chapter 7 that we're starting? I'm only getting through three chapters a night. Oh, man. This is rough. I don't know how many more there is, but I'm guessing we have at least two more streams uh, to do of this game. Uh, I, I hate the dark sections. I hate them so much. They, they freak me out. A couple of the jump scares I just ran by so quickly that I didn't even see them happen, which is kind of funny, but... Holy crap, man. This game is, uh... Is really well done. They did a good job. Some of the art is weird, uh, especially with the... The not the monsters. Like, the actual normal-looking people. They look all fuzzy and weird. But, whatever. The, the rest of the game is great. So, um... We'll be continuing playing this again tomorrow, so I hope you guys are liking it. If you are, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. Uh, George Morales, maybe it's Jorge Morales. 
I appreciate the follower. Welcome to the crew. I appreciate you being here. Gups, thank you so for, much for the biddies. Same to you, Crimson Rose. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your continued support of the channel. Uh, Yuri, thank you for the early biddies too. Um, I know you're on vacation. I appreciate you just popping in to say hey. Uh, it really does mean a lot, my dude. Hope you are having a safe trip. Sarah, if you're still around, thank you for dropping in as well. Uh, hopefully, uh, you, you're not too spooked out of the game. Uh, and yeah, you, you left a little early, but I appreciate the lurks nonetheless. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and races out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. Sleeping one there is Jay. Does, I don't know where Mama's is. Hopefully she's staying out of trouble. We've got a pile of treats here uh, for all the love you guys have been giving them. But uh, thank you so much for tuning with me, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!